Lana Del Rey is preparing to remove the track Get Free from her latest album if she loses her copyright battle with Radiohead over the song. Lana has claimed Tom York and his bandmates are demanding 100% of the publishing royalties from Get Free after alleging it heavily lifts from their 1992 hit Creep. Hours after news of the legal fight broke the 32-year-old musician addressed the issue in front of her fans at a concert in Denver, Colorado on Sunday, 07 Jan 18, telling them she was prepared to remove Get Free from her Lust for Life album if necessary. I just want to let you know, she said. Regardless if it gets taken down off of everything, that those sentiments that I wrote dot 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 that I really am going to strive for them, even if that song is not on future physical releases of the record dot 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 I just wanted to let you know that for the kids and for the not kids, who are the real fans, who are here. So that's probably the last thing I'll say about it. But thanks. News of Radiohead and Lana's copyright battle was first reported in Britain's Sun on Sunday newspaper, with the video game singer later confirming she was gearing up for a legal fight after failing to reach a settlement with their lawyers. She wrote on Twitter, Although I know my song wasn't inspired by Creep, Radiohead feel it was and want 100% of the publishing, I offered up to 40 over the last few months but they will only accept 100. Their lawyers have been relentless, so we will deal with it in court. Lana is currently credited as a co-writer of the track, alongside Kieran Menzies and Rick Nowles. The idiot crockers are yet to publicly comment on the matter. She is the latest contemporary act to face a copyright claim, after Sam Smith agreed to cut Tom Petty and Jeff Lynne in on royalties from his 2014 song Stay With Me after accepting it sounded similar to Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers' 1989 classic I Won't Back Down. Robin Thicke and Pharrell Williams are still challenging a 2015 ruling that their smash hit Blurred Lines lifted from a 1977 Marvin Gaye track. If upheld, the verdict could cost the pair $7 million, £5.2 million. Pounds. <laughs>